and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Orzhov Reborn. I mean, this is a throwback Thursday where we had a couple of throwback decks for our first two decks built around Crucible of Worlds and Sunbird's Invocation. And then we had two donation decks here. We did some Gruel Dinosaurs in Best of One, and now we got some Orzhov Reborn. This one actually fits our Throwback Thursday theme, because this is a deck that is built around the Eldest Reborn. Now, Eldest Reborn's not really a rare or a mythic. It's kind of good enough to be one, though. Um, it is rotating out. It did see a good amount of play, so you know I, I usually build around cards like Sunbird's Invocation and Crucible Worlds that didn't see too much play, but... Still, this is pretty awesome here, getting to play 4X Eldest Reborn. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so we're going to make be making our opponents sacrifice creatures and planeswalker, discarding cards, and then whenever that third chapter hits, we get to bring something back. But then, not only do we get to bring something back, but then we can also save our brought back <laughs> to bring back Eldest Reborn. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm excited about this brought back combo. We got play crafters in here for some more sacrificing. Bell Haunt's just a, a really great uh, value card that we can also bring back with Soren, Eldritch Reborn, that kind of stuff. This is just a pretty cool deck. So this is basically like the Orzhov Sacrifice deck that I've played sometimes, um, but we don't have um, Priest of Forgotten Gods. And instead of Priest of Forgotten Gods, we got Eldritch Reborns, basically. I like the main deck, Kaya's Wraths. I mean, I think, think that can get some people. Uh, Kaya's Wrath is a good card to have to help set up Play Crafters and Eldritch Reborns, sacrificing um, specific threats as well. And, you know, we can draw lots of cards with the Liana or Midnight Reaper because of Kaya's Wrath also. So, yeah, a bunch of little cool, bunch of cool little synergies in here. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's play a league. Let's see how it does. I like how this deck looks. Little worried about how many fours we have, but when you have a card like Kaya's Wrath, it's okay if you're behind because you have a bunch of fours in hand because you can Kaya's Wrath and start dropping other fours. All right, so we're going to play a league. This is what we always do with our donation decks. We're going to see if we can get to five wins before we get to two losses. Yeah, Kaya's Wrath brought back on turn six. That is a really nice combo. Yeah, six mana, Kaya's Wrath, then brought back. That is quite nice. Is <laughs> Orzov re reborn? Yeah, and then, yep, late game we'll have really big Knight of the Ebon Legions. So, this is, this is the bad part about brought back. Is sometimes you just have an opening hand where they're both in your opening hand. <laughs> And so we have a five-card hand here. We have three lands and Chupacabra Eldritch Reborn. So we have a five-card hand. I mean, those are those are five good cards. They kept their hands so quick and we're on the draw. I'm going to try it. Hopefully turn four Chupacabra is not too slow. I'm... I would prefer to draw things to play before turn four right now. Okay, that, that works. I would also prefer to draw a land or two. So yeah, Playcrafter only gets 1x Land War Elf, but I think it's worth it. I know, it's just... What if Plague Crafter right there was Plague Mare? Just mow them all down. Uh, these were War of the Spark Lands. Here. This would be a good time to be drawing Kaya's Wrath. I'll take a land, though. I'll go Eldest Reborn next turn. I'm not scared. Yeah, I do like the, the block with Chupacabra. Bring it back. Line. 
The Choop Chump. The Choop Chump brought back combo. Okay. The 5-4 is going to kill us pretty fast. So do I... So options are either Eldritch Reborn or Hunted Witness, double block the 3-3, three, three, bring him back, kill the Steel Leaf. So like that line... That line helps keep us alive longer. But Eldest Reborn is the kind of card, you know, just these sagas with the three chapters, they're the kind of cards that you really want to play as early as you can. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. Okay. So now we're, we're going to go with this line this next turn. Now we'll chump the Gideon. I guess we'll chump Gideon and 3-3. And then bring them both back. I like it. Just attack there. No other attacks. No other attacks. Yep. Gotta protect Gideon. Good call. Good call. Alright. Temple of Skrylance. Because the good thing about... Whoa! They discarded Knight? Knight of Autumn? Card's actually kind of busted, right? Yeah, it's probably good. Because the third chapter of Eldritch Reborn gets back Tulsimer, which gains life, which that's the other reason why I wanted to get that down. Yeah, they discarded Knight of Autumn. What do they even have? They gotta have, yeah, they gotta have more Night of Autumn, right? Hey, Selvin. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to sneeze. No attacks. I don't get a chump. I don't get a choop chump. Oh, sorry. So we're going to play Crafter, sacrifice the Choop, bring back Choop and Eldritch Reborn, Choop the Steel Leaf, make them sacrifice Steel Leaf or, Gil or Gideon. Dude, Eldritch Reborn is sweet. How'd they not, not just Knight of Autumn the Eldritch Reborn? Bring it on. Why did they just do that? <laughs> yeah, brought back returns any yeah two permanents. I believe in you. <laughs> so yeah, we get to bring back. Um, I guess I shouldn't have attacked with the hundred witness, but whatever. We're fine. <laughs> All right, so that was sweet. All right, we want this extra Kaya's wrath. Ooh, these ritual of sets. All right, if I'm bringing in three four mana cards, I should probably cut some four mana cards or higher. Play Crafter is like okay, but not spectacular because they have all the mana creatures.
I'm gonna bring in the t two cast downs and noxious grasp, and I'm gonna I'm gonna trim one of these things. I guess bell haunt. I guess we have to trim two. So yeah, two bell haunts. Hmm. Maybe one one eldest reborn, one bell haunt. Here we go. That was a really sweet game. Waiting on your opponent. Okay, so if we go turn one knight, turn two tithe taker, then I'm not really activating knight on turn three because then I'm doing temple of scrylance at that point. So I'm just gonna slow it down. We got the wrath, right? Let's let's slow it down. Let's just play our lands, play some temple of scrylances. Cards a problem. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Now they get to display instant speed also, so that, that's very good against Kai's Wrath. I'm gonna make it more costly to play at instant speed at least. There's usually around like 275 or so you fight like a for cards in a big rat. set. All right. Their spell doesn't cost one more on my turn now, but... But they also had a land destroyed. Dang it. <laughs> uh <laughs> I actually meant to play Chupacabra this turn. I I forgot that, that was gonna come into play tap now. I should should have just played the swap. I got two. <laughs> Got to uh For the fallen. Too sneaky with not playing that swamp before. <laughs> oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. Chomp. Watch out, they bite. All right, well, we're going to kill their planeswalkers. Oh, I can't kill their planeswalkers. Hex proof. Darn it. Hmm. I guess I'll do one of myself. Thankfully, we gain a life, so it's not a big deal. Darn, I was going to take out the one with the knight and take out the other one with the Soren. But I definitely need to get 
Arc Bow Ranger out here. I think, right? Maybe I should have killed the Champion of the Wilds. Is kind? <laughs> yeah, no. It has been one of those nights. Uh. Oh, they have another Arc Bow Ranger. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. Yeah, I've not been on my game today. I'd get out of the way if I were you. <laughs> You're working up my appetite. You're working up my appetite. I'll be back, just like before. Well, you're annoying. So they still only have four mana. They don't get to play creatures at instant speed anymore. Are they going to minus and kill my Sorin? You picked the wrong fight. Parting. Yep. Nice. Enjoy, Matthew. You haven't seen the last of me. I'm hoping no more Vivians. We got through all the Vivians. I guess I didn't play around Tulsimer by only activating once. The undead make great minions. So yeah, we just want one other blocker here. I don't expect them to be able to kill Liliana with the Shalai. I can Kaya's Wrath draw a bunch of cards. Expecting Lily to be able to survive. Yeah, now, yeah, it definitely looks good for us right now with having this Liliana out there. If they have Planeswalker removal, you know, like a Devout Decree or something, don't think it gets rid of Liliana, that would be bad for me. Bad-ish. And we still have the Kaya's Wrath to reset. Yeah, they could have like a prison realm, something like that. <laughs> All right, we'll draw three. Why don't you just play that? I, I don't know. I've learned much I don't know. From your death. Cause yeah, like that thing fights. So that's 
I don't know if they could have cleared out another blocker, but then I just double chump. I think playing that is better than than playing Soren and just bringing back something. I I think. Yeah, it, like made them discard a steel leaf. Like in the Belhan in play. Yeah, Wrath and Belhan, same turn. This is the future. Uh, don't have too white for that. All right, Orzov reborn. That Liliana draw, so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I like the new. I like the new set. The thing. Yeah, it's, you know, just a generic question of like, what do I think of the new cards? I like. I like the new set. I am. I am definitely worried about. Not a single thing for. Field of the Dead. I am worried about that. How many lands we got in here? 24? Ugh, we should maybe have a 25th. Or even a 26th land. We got four, five drops and two six drops. And no card draw. So, like, the reason why I kind of want to keep this hand is because the Temple of Skylands here. So we, that should help us hit our next land, but still, we have to draw, like, two or three lands really to get going it's tough to keep but man this is such a cool hand this hand is so cool it's tough to keep how oh, we'll just do it come on land drops no get out of here where's our lands My temple didn't help me. Land. Hmm. GG's. That was a trap hand, wasn't it? Was a trap hand. All right, so good news is my opponent doesn't know basically anything about my deck. And now we know what they're doing. All right, against aggro, we're going to take out these brought backs. We're going to take out... Midnight Reaper, Play Crafter. The problem is we have just like all sorts of good fours. Like Belhaunt's good here, Chupacabra's good, Ritual of Soot's good, Kaiserat's good. We have too many fours. I wonder if like instead of Ritual of Soots, this deck probably should be playing like Cry of the Carnarium, something that would be three mana just to to help out the mana curve. We should yeah, like these extra two soots should probably be Cry of the Carnariums. But I know that Cry is like not really that good against this. Like it's not good. It's not good for us to play with these. I guess we could have like Golden Demise instead. Ugin kills Soren. Liliana does not kill Soren. Let's split those up. I gotta just cut a Belhan. I, I can't play that many fours. I guess Belhan's the weakest. Maybe it's Soren. Yeah, so yeah, the exile from Cry could be bad for us. Maybe just like Golden Demise. Um.
yeah, I think those those would be the ones there. All right, now double scry land. Hopefully this helps us find lands. We're keeping two lands again on the on the play, but at least we have two cheaper cards. But we still need to hit you know like four lands to do to do our stuff. But we got double scry land now. So again, if it's a spell, it goes to the bottom. Are you a spell? If so you go to the bottom. Yay, land. So the thing is, is like this Legion's End could be bad if they have a bunch of vanguards. They have one vanguard. Because Troop kills kills the knight, but doesn't kill vanguard. But I think it's still that still worked out for us, I, I believe, with having two um, two Knight of the Ebon Legions. We got to get, we got to get. Oh no, Gideon. I am here to aid in the assault. Ugh. It's a good draw. Your light will cleave the darkness. Yeah, I wish I had Bell Haunt over these things right now. <laughs> uh, I play this. Strife makes monsters of us all. <laughs> that was a good what hit. What a mess I've made. I don't know really exactly why I'm playing that. Yeah, so Soren gives any creature death touch and lifelink. I will lend you my strength. What a draw. Wow, what a draw. Now we get to strength, see the strength of Hunted Witness, Trump blocking. Get to keep on bringing it back and making an army of 1-1s. One one In the process. That's bold. Just playing out Sanctum Seeker to let me get like super value on this Chupacabra. Is that a thing? Super value? Look how cool this is. We get to just chump lock all day and just make an army of one ones. Just one loyalty. Just cost one loyalty. For each one. Okay. So they have Gideon and Soren. Maybe I should Elder Spell. They may take Gideon back out. Would Elder Spell be better than Play Crafter or Midnight Reaper? is the main question here. Maybe one over the Midnight Reaper. Just take out all the Bell Haunts? I don't know, Bell Haunt's pretty good. Let's try this. Yeah, walkers with a whole bunch of creatures can be a pain, yeah. If we don't get to have, like, Plague Crafter or Eldest Reborn take out... Like, like the, the Planeswalker decks that are just, like, you know, like Esper that aren't playing creatures, those aren't so bad because we have our our 
you know, play Crafter Elder Shaborn, so that's pretty good. Like, those are, like, ideal, honestly. But yeah, the ones with tons of creatures and then Planeswalkers, that can be annoying. I've never liked Noxious Grasp against uh, Vampires. Basically never bring it in. It is decent when they're playing um, Gideon. I don't know for sure if they're going to keep Gideon, but yeah, if they have Gideon, that's where it could be decent. I don't know what's up with why our mana's been like this. Um, obviously, we just draw four drop, five drop as our first two draws. Darn it. That was the whole reason why I kept the hand is because we had the Legion's End. Alright, that was a good draw. Come on, deck. Two lands. Two more lands. Let us curve Choop into Eldest Reborn. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Yeah, we... I mean, we, we have to hit land drop. It's lethal. Darn, our deck's so cool. Yeah. I know I didn't. I didn't look at the mana base either. I I would have definitely said add it. I added more lands because this this deck plays a lot better at 26 lands than 24. But it really it needs 25. Like 25 is a minimum. But that's okay. We can we can change that. You know we can switch that. That's an easy easy thing to fix. I I just can't even keep two land hands. There we go. That's better. I learned my lesson keeping a two-land hand on the play. Just can't do it. Hey, what's up, Johnny? Thanks so much there for the sub. I appreciate that, Johnny. Sub number 17 on the day. I guess I was behind one because that thing is... It's all, it's all good, Red. Don't feel bad about it. It's all good. We'll see if we can draw some lands, make it work. Mono black vampires. Burglar rat. I already mulliganed. That card's so punishing to people being on the play after you mulligan. It's so punishing. Oh my gosh. Killing me. main phase in it. Alright, they didn't play any more creatures. Make this quick. I'm bored or perish the thought. Struggling? Good. How unrefined. 
We're just not going to be able... Like, I have to discard Liliana because we're just not going to be able to play it. All I've left you is pain. Sending them both at Davriel so that they can't just use a this one removal a spell of my time. and keep Davriel alive. All right, so good news is we shouldn't have. There we go. Let's say we shouldn't have lands. Too many lands left. This is the this is the time where it's really good to not have that many lands in your deck. Whenever you you already have six in play. Scribe like the best card possible to the top. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> Are they going to use a removal spell now after Liliana resolves? Because I, I bet that's like all my opponent has is just removal. And they're just like looking at my my little 1-1s one and they're just like, Ugh, I don't want to use my removal spells on these. Wow. Murder the Hunted Witness after I have Liliana. Maybe me drawing the card. Honestly, maybe that's, that's good. Yeah, because they want me to discard the card. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Maybe they like want me to draw the card and stuff, so I discard it. But I very smartly drew a land. Hey, what's up? Eisenf Gibson out the sub. Welcome to the channel there, clip clips. Clips. Sub number 18 on the day. Two away from another sub goal and enough for a 12 hour stream. We talked about earlier um, that I think I want to wait with the 12 hour stream for Masker Girl. That's so many cards. Death. They were a lousy servant. Want to wait with a 12-hour stream for uh, for a week from today? Yeah, new hand. Wait. Was that that was the only permanent card that was put back in my graveyard this turn? Never mind. All the rest were, were tokens. I guess I could have just played the planes and passed so that if they killed Liliana, I would still be able to bring back Liliana. That's probably the better thing than just playing the Hunted Witness. Y'all ready for something cool? Have y'all ever ultimated a planeswalker? Oh, listen to my symphony of death. Don't concede, don't concede. We're gonna bring it back. Ulted a, a planeswalker and then brought it back. Tapped. Like a fun new toy. What's that last card? Discard it. They're down to nothing. Except for the Dreadhorde invasion. Hmm. <laughs> Davriel's cool. I'll get Davriel over here. Rise and shine. 
<laughs> yeah, who's the mono black discard deck now? So yeah, they'll take a couple from Davriel. Loneliness can hurt. Hmm. I kind of wanted just just to pass and let the Davriel and the Invasion, their two cards, kill them. Yeah, I could have Wrath, yeah, gone just Wrath New Hand. Yeah, we'll see. I think as the really what Esper is going to maybe struggle with more than losing five mana to Fairy, honestly, is the mana base. Honestly, that's that's what I'd be the most worried about with Esper, but um, yeah, Liliana could replace it, but I actually kind of like uh, Command the Dreadhorde and Bolas of Citadel as cards to replace it instead, or like as well, because those are some cards that can just offer a lot of card advantage. All right, definitely a Midnight Reaper kind of matchup. Um... It's not a Playcrafter matchup. It is an Ugin matchup. I think all we need to, to try to do is hit land drops. And play bigger effects. Um, Chupacabra isn't super necessary. All right, let's go with this. No, I would... Um, I think Golden Demise is better than Cry of the Carnarium for the sideboard. So I think maybe Soot out Cry of the Carnarium in... Or sorry, 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 sorry. Soot out Golden Demise in. Sorry, sorry. Because, you know, Cry Exiles, Golden Demise, Golden Demise doesn't. All right, I'm hitting land drops. Going to make sure we get to do that. We know the land drops are really important. And so, yeah, I basically had the Knight of the Ebon Legion in hand to discard to all their discard stuff because I wanted to make sure that we hit our land drops and be able to play our powerful cards. Or it's, it's just a little creature. Ooh, what is this thing? When it dies, a mass two. That's pretty cool. Correct. The other flame, the other. Um, no, so like the lands, like your lands are are in a in a set, and so like the lands, like there are lands that are rotating out just with the other sets, just like Teferi and Ascanta. And so you're you're gonna be losing. Um, the the buddy lands, drowned catacomb, isolated chapel, glacial fortress. Those three lands, those are those are leaving standards. You won't be able to play those lands anymore. 
Um, so he had to have like other dual lands or you know other or other effects. But those lands will be gone. Those three. No, the next no, uh, Throne of Eldraine does not have other dual lands in it. No, all the check all all the check lands are rotating. All five of the check lands are, or all ten of the sorry, all ten of the check lands are rotating. So yeah, it's just it's just whatever lands are in Throne of Eldraine, but yeah, there aren't any real dual lands. Doom Whisper is cool. Warrior Queen Necromancer. Smelly but effective. And Eldritch Reborn is awesome when it gets to do its thing like this. Yeah, that's yeah. the The next set after Throne of Eldraine is a Theros set, and I also am expecting the temples to be completed. Then, so we're gonna have like one standard format here with an uneven, oh, I'm just going to keep this bell haunt, with an uneven distribution they were a lousy servant anyway. of Skrylands. Yeah, it's going to be Return to Theros is going to be the next set, which Theros is a is a set that is focused on um, is uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> it is focused on uh, monocolored <laughs> themes usually, like they had like devotion Why? last time, and so we see Throne of Eldraine <laughs> kind of leading into that. There's a lot of, you know, if you spent three green mana to cast this card or three of the same color mana or, you know or if you control three forests this comes into play untapped and stuff like like that so Ravnica was a set that's, that was very focused on um, is a set that was really focused on oh, <coughs> Multicolor. Now we'll get monocolor. Yeah, I could just like wrath and could have just wrath in a new hand, but get out of my way. We'll put them down to one card. Just that one little swamp. This looks like a, a close game. Yeah, we got our tapped Liliana in there. All right, two and one. So yeah, all we have to do is hit land drops. We see that we hit land drops. Our deck looks really strong. That's what we gotta do. Hit those land drops. We wanna have Eldritch Reborn on curve. Good chance that we hit land drops here. We're vampires. All 
I know, yeah. Ultraborn is a is definitely a fun card. Oh no, Vampire Mirror. Alright, we got Spryland in our vampire deck. Oh, I can't bottom a land, can I? No. I really shouldn't. I mean, really, we need to draw one more land in, like, the next three draws. So, this could be me flooding out here by keeping that. All right, just hopefully no Soren. Just a bunch of creatures. What? Why are you playing that card? Together we can banish evil from this plane. Just play creatures. Prepare for battle. What are these planeswalkers doing? Okay, you gotta move so I can see. I believe in you. Yeah, play a lot of creatures. Gonna sit back and activate Adanto forever here. We're in a tough spot. Yeah, Danto forever is going to be difficult to beat. I mean, it's really just this Gideon. This Gideon's the problem. I can't make them sacrifice Gideon since they got infinite 1-1s. One -ones. Your light will cleave the darkness. Gideon's a problem. Share in my light. I mean, I could have not kept that the other land on top, I suppose. Hey, Belhaunt's good. Gain some life. Just don't even play Legion Lieutenant. He still played Lieutenant and activated Adanto, the first fort. Nah. 
defeating you will not bring me pleasure. All right, so yeah, let's definitely bring in elder spells. Thank you for your. Because yeah, that's those planeswalkers can be a nightmare. Definitely be a nightmare there. Could just play Noxious Grasp instead. But Noxious Grasp doesn't kill... Like, so it's like... Kill one drops and Legion Lieutenant and Gideon. Or kill Soren and Gideon. Killing the one drops is just not valuable. Unfortunately. So it's just Legion Lieutenant. Totally like Legion Lieutenant and... Uh... I mean, Cast Down's really good in this matchup too. Yeah, let's get those in. I don't hate duress. We'll try them over a couple hundred witness. Oh yeah, mortify. I could see playing like mortify or to spark or some something like that. I mean, not. I mean, the spark doesn't help us here, but. See, having mortifies in the sideboard. Ugh. I can't keep that. No, we have to. We have to draw two lands, and we're on the play. We can't keep it. We're not going to draw lands. We've been down that road before. Okay. So we'll ditch one land, and we'll ditch. Playcrafter. No, I don't. Caissons. I have, like... You know, I have... I've purchased a lot of uh, card styles, but I don't have all of them. There's a, a lot of them that aren't on playable cards. Basically, kind of just, like, whenever I play decks with the card styles, if I think I'm going to be playing the cards for, you know, in that league and, like, other leagues and stuff, I'll get them. Mold a five, opponent has perfect curve. Great. I have other obligations. Alright, Elder Spell was good though, but they have seven cards in hand. No, no, we could draw. All right, it's not over. We can draw Kai's Wrath. Yeah, we could draw Kai's Wrath. We're playing Wraths. If I play Eldest Reborn, they just sacrifice the little 3-3. Uh, three, three. I kind of need to kill this Legion Lieutenant. He 
These Legion Lieutenants are worth like seven power, basically. Looked like a pretty perfect hand against my mold of five. And that's what we were doing last match. We had everything, our opponent had nothing happen to us this match. So a lot of a lot of good stuff with this deck. A lot of good stuff I liked here, but, you know, like, there are some things we need to fix. Um, one thing is, it does definitely feel like we need more, more, like, two and three and stuff. Our our curve, I mean, we have a bunch of Elder Reborns, but it doesn't seem like, we can't really afford to have mono four drops, then six, five plus cards where we don't have any ramping and... You know, the brought backs don't don't count as like two mana cards. Gotta gotta have a lot more twos and threes than what we have. Um I think I think basically How do we fit in more twos and threes? I think Alright, a couple of cards I don't like. I don't like Knight of the Ebon Legion. You know, like this this card is it's basically just pretty aggressive. I think we need to be more defensive. The best thing the Knight of the Ebon Legion has is it's a really good card to get back with Soren. That's the best thing that it that it has. But we can't really like we don't want to like sit back and hold up three mana to be able to block better. Um when we want you know, we want to be casting spells. So we don't want to pay three mana to be able to block. And then well, Bell Bellhaunt is really like Bellhaunt's a good defensive card, but it also costs the same as like everything else. I think that I'd rather have like Chupacabra, Soren, Kaya's Wrath, and maybe cut maybe cut the Bellhaunts. So let's see what we could do here. If we have what's the Death Touch Afterlife creature? Warzov Enforcer. Like, what if we have these instead of Knight of the Ebon Legion that also block really well? And then we get rid of Fen Lurkers. Or sorry, sorry, get rid of Bell Haunts. And then yeah, we could go maybe Fen Lurker. Or what if What if main deck we just had like some removal spells? You know, like like the Legion's ends were pretty good most of the time. Like what if we had like two Legion's End and like two Mortify? Just help out our curve a lot. We do need that 25th land. I think with having the Enforcers, Hunted Witness isn't as valuable. And honestly, I don't even know. Yeah, you don't need four Hunted Witness. But yeah, we need. let's cut that, get this extra land in there. Um, which I guess is like brought backs double white. So I guess it's white. Even though we got the double black with some other stuff, we still have a good amount of both white and black sources, so we're we're pretty fine there. Um, so that'll be a twenty fifth land there. That could help out. I like that. And now that doesn't make it so bad to bring in like ritual sets and Kaya's rats as like more fours. Um, Sideboard. I kind of want more duresses against like the spell heavy decks. I think I would want against like the spell heavy decks. I think I want a, a third Soren. More duress. I guess maybe like a third duress. Maybe just not play cast down. A second no noxious grasp. And then 
because you know like that that can kill some planeswalkers i guess we got the two elder spells though that can kill the large green creatures but we got kaya's rats we have a bunch of um but then we could get a couple bell haunts in the sideboard if we need bell haunts for uh mono red All right, maybe just this fourth Legion's End. Legion's End is just awesome. Get a fourth one of those in. Let's just go four, four Kai's Wrath, one Golden Demise. Instead of these ritual sets. Kai's Wrath is just going to be the most valuable sweeper all the time. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, you use the deck mostly in best of one. That that could maybe help. Um, you know, you could see if if you feel like taking out Orzhov Enforcer and Mortify and going back to Bell Haunts, I, I don't blame that. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at that. I guess that's what I mean. I wouldn't be mad at that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be mad at that, but I think maybe having something like this, like where you have like a little bit better curve, um, maybe just get an extra bell on haunt in here. Maybe we don't need this many enforcers, something like that. So yeah, try, try that out. Let me know, um, how it goes. But hopefully that that kind of helps out a little bit more um, against those fast decks. But yeah, I mean definitely we just need the twenty fifth land. But yeah, when it, so we got to see some like really powerful stuff. Like if we get to like basically be alive, have good defense. You know, like that's that's what we need is we need defense, stay alive, and then start dropping Eldritch Reborns. That is awesome. Eldritch Reborn really powerful. So that's the goal of our deck. Got to stay alive though. Gotta stay alive. I'd have to say that I was actually, I was actually really unimpressed with the the play crafters for the most part, since we don't have like, I mean, we I know we have like the Elder Born to bring it back, but I don't even know if we need four. A lot of times, like they're just like the small creatures where the play crafter is not really doing its thing. Um, so I don't know if that's really a four of. So maybe that's another way to get another bell haunt in there. So there we go. There we go. Hopefully that helps out there, Rad. Yeah, it's yeah. Playcrafter is awesome, awesome against those uh, the Planeswalker heavy decks. But I think we're going to be pretty good in those matchups anyway. But like Esper Control, Playcrafter is amazing against Esper Control. Absolutely amazing there. Um, but I I think we're going to be pretty good there. Um, overall. All right, um, so that's Orzhov Reborn. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And uh, feel free to leave some comments. I always like the comments on the videos. Uh, just kind of going with a little reminder, we got the sub battle stream is going to happen on Saturday. <laughs> I'll get Hawkeye's butt off the screen here. Sub battle stream is a lot of fun where I play against subscribers all day. I sp uh, spin a wheel each round to see what deck I'm going to be playing. And they bring their fun brews also, so it's it's a really good time. Um, so so many different interactions and and fun decks. So that's on Saturday, uh, starting at three. If you're watching on Twitch or you know if you watch it later on YouTube, um, then uh, we're doing our set review Sunday at one, starting at one p.m. This is Eastern time, starting at one p.m. And we spend a lot of time on these set reviews. Like it's probably gonna like we usually spend, um, you know, close to ten hours on the set review. And we'll so we'll be doing the complete thing. Like we we go through every single we're gonna be going through every single card in Throne of Eldraine, commons, uncommons, rares, mythics, every single card, and uh, talk about how it could be played in standard. So that's what we're calling it the the Brewers set review. You know what what can you do to, to brew with each every card? So you know give given every every card some love. So that'll be that'll be uh, fun. I'll have the chat up on the screen also. So if you're so. Um, uh, 
<clears throat> we'll have the chat there. Yeah, you can play against you can play against whoever you want in arena. There's there's um a challenge thing to do. So yeah, you can you can play against anybody there. But that's it here for Zar Reborn again. So thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, and I'll see you for the next video.